I just now came up with another video idea, which is how to use How Hesset to kill your invader. Because I know that some people also have. Ooh, is somebody flirting with me? <laughs> I'll do my little emoji. And I'll give him a little gift because he called me pretty. There we go. That seems appropriate. <laughs> All right. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Some people had been concerned about how to use How Hesset to, to kill invaders. And Moda, you've actually done a great job with How Hesset. I'm just going to say that right now. You are a fucking boss. And, I mean, you know, it's just a matter of practice on real bases with blue mage towers. Like, I need some practice as well. But in terms of invaders, for people who have him and are wondering, or for people who are planning on getting him, he's so cool. And I just wish people would understand that. And he's great at setting up bases for wars. So I really wish people would like him. And, um, so, what? Alright. So I'm gonna, um, attack my invader with How has it. And obviously I have a 55, whatever, million defense invader. Um... And my poor little how is only 10 million power currently. Um, that being said, he can, when I'm sober, um, reach about 98%. <laughs> uh, usually I'll give him a resist because that actually, like, that's clutch. That really does make a difference. So for a base like this, I see ballistas, a lot of ballistas. That's a fucking joke. Storms, also a fucking joke. That's a mountain, whatever. Um, and then I see just a bunch of cannons and archers here, so, um, there are more cannons, and that's why I gave him a cannon. There we go. So I'll, I'm gonna just kind of narrate as I go. And basically, the, the trick on the first Long Island is just to fucking sand everything, you know? Like, just, whatever. Just fucking sand it. I mean, obviously you're also killing some stuff. There's, like, you have to have a nice happy medium between killing and sanding. So when you've built up all of your taps, your little tap attacks, then you kill something. And when you need to buy time for yourself, then you sand something. And then once everything is sanded, you can obviously kill it at your leisure. This is not a new lesson. We learned this in the ass face tutorials I've done previously. So now I've built up a nice bit of rage. I'm going to spend some of it, and I'm going to cloak myself, and then I'm going to kill some shit. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't do that so well. But basically, um, I didn't use that to rewind at that point. I used it just to cloak and use some of my spells. Now I'm going to use my spell... What have I used for a resist? Right, cannon. So, fuck. I double sanded. That's very nice. It's nice that I managed to do that. And um, keep an eye on that little time shift icon because that tells you how much time you have before your time runs out and before you can rewind. So you'll see like a little cool down kind of circle-y thing going around its edge and that basically just tells you uh, you only have so much time left. Fuck. Well, whatever. I was talking and not really paying attention. Um, I haven't managed my rage very well on this base, incidentally. <laughs> we were talking about rage management just the, the last video. So, very important. Keep an eye on your rage and use it when you, when you really need it. Um, sometimes these things can't be helped. There's nothing that can be done. Oh. All right, so like I missed a few slivers of towers, but overall, how has it? 97%. That's, that's about as good as it gets when he's at this level. So blop, the end. And that's how you run the invader with how has it. And incidentally, he could do this at level seven. So I want to hear excuses about how you can't run the invader because you can't. You just have to believe in yourself. And then, then, then that's it. That's, that's my video.